Hello guys, here we are today with Tony Brand Catasano and George from Highland and we're welcoming Tony to ENS Trading to come and do a demonstration on the Highland cooktop, cooking all sorts of the fantastic dishes which Tony is famous for. So we're going to see some great pastas and some great ravioli and, and, and other dishes that Tony has done which, we're, which we can't wait to see. So, Thanks Rob. Um, Tony, welcome to ENS and we look forward to a great day. And some good pasta. I think so. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Okay, well let's get started. <laughs> Terrific. Tony um, uh, was the winner of the sort of, if you like, master chef equivalent of a reality cooking program in Italy. Um, and um, she'll explain much better than I can um, her, uh, her experiences through that, um, uh, that process and then becoming the winner of that, um, of that competition. So um, I might pass across to you, Tony, and uh, you can get the ball rolling. Now I'm just going to do a carbonara. Um, I've been really lucky to have carbonara in Roma a few times over the last few months before coming out and, and the Romans will say they make the best carbonara in the all of Italy and there's much debate over, the other day on the Today Show I put uh, cream in my recipe, well I can't tell you the comments I had on Facebook because then I put the link on Facebook, the Italians, criticising how dare you put cream in your carbonara and I said excuse me it's my mother's recipe, it's a very sentimental recipe and I also said recipes I believe are made to be experimented with, modified a bit and you know I, so I wrote, oh, aren't we allowed to be creative in the kitchen? I said, I'm, you know, take me to jail because I'm guilty of that. Um, if you didn't see me making my carbonara you, and you didn't see me add the cream, you actually wouldn't realise there's cream in it. I promise. promise. <laughs> in Italy, when I get pancetta, I will be honest, I buy it already cut in a little packet, I open it up and it's already cubed. Now I'm not going to add olive oil to the pan when I cook this because as you can see the pancetta's actually got quite a bit of fat in it and uh, I don't need to add olive oil. Like now there's big supermarkets have opened up where I live. When I, 13 years ago, there were, there were no big supermarkets. So you would get up in the morning and go to the market and decide what you were going to cook by what was fresh and what was, and, and these little shops still exist, but sadly, and I say sadly because I think that was the charm of the town where I lived in, sadly they're closing. Um, there are two mistakes that people make when they make a carbonara, as we were discussing earlier. They put heaps of cream in and your, pa your pasta comes out and it's sitting in a bowl of cream. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a saucy pasta. It should just have... This, this is just, should just coat the, the pasta. I'm using fettuccine. They also criticised me for that. I sh you never do f fettuccine, they said. It should be spaghetti. I said, I love fettuccine with carbonara, though, because I just think I love that flat pasta and I think it's better. Origatoni. Okay, now the recipe is about a third of a cup of cream. I use hardly any. And normally my saucepan's actually still hot. I always open my eggs in another container before I add to my cakes because um, I used to get my eggs from a little lady at the end of the road. So beautiful free range eggs. But if you've ever opened an egg that's gone off. Uh... So I'm gonna beat the Parmesan cheese into my eggs. Add that in, yeah, just add it all in, yep. You have to make sure your saucepan's off the heat because you do not want scrambled eggs in your pasta. So who wants to try the carbonara? Sorry? Whoever gets the last bits gets all the best, uh, all the pancetta. 